Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cyprus Observers Program. Today we are reporting from the Ministry of Tourism and Environment of Turkish Republic of North Cyprus. And I'm really glad to introduce you the guest of our program today, Associate Professor Dr. Ismet Esanyal, who works as Undersecretary in the Ministry of Tourism and Environment in North Cyprus, as well as an academician, the lecturer at Geerne American University and Vice-Chancellor of Amford World Association for tourism training and education of hospitality. Uh, we are really glad to welcome you in our program, Ismet Bey. Thank you very much for your presence, actually. Uh, it is uh, honored uh, to see you here, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, I see you as a family, you know, and I would like to welcome you all, all GAU family. Thank you very And much. the members of GAU family. And uh, as I said, it is uh, very much uh, pleasure for me to welcome you in this beautiful atmosphere. Thank you very much and thank you for granting us this opportunity to have this conversation. Uh, we would like to uh, ask you the question about uh, one of your latest articles which was published in 2018 in Democratic Bakush newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, I know, uh, I was reading this article in Turkish language mm -hmm. and it was told by you that uh, Cyprus needs to have a certain brand as touristic destination, right? That's right. Um, can you please elaborate more on this subject? Absolutely. Uh, as you know, we are very much intensively working on how to promote our beautiful, you know, northern part of Thailand. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, apart from dealing with classical, traditional way of uh, marketing stuff, uh, we are in the need of achieving something that haven't been done before. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you know, we finalized it in this beautiful part of the island. There are plenty of natural and historical beauties and man-made attractions. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, we have decided to disseminate all those values to outer market in order to create a kind of awareness Mm -hmm. on our beautiful tourism product. Mm -hmm. For instance, many people might know about it, but I'm sure uh, most people, if they know that uh, Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, mm -hmm. wrote his beautiful Othello in Famagusta, mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. this will at least create beautiful uh, identity for our beautiful North Cyprus tourism market and still today for more than 400 years, 450 years mm -hmm. from uh, Venetian times actually, our Othello castle is situated in Famagusta. Mm -hmm. But nobody till today had done any marketing or promo activities in order to you know, promote these beauties. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we have identified, you know, specific, you know, niche materials mm -hmm. that will create immense awareness on our potential tourists and I'm sure in the end we will be creating beautiful, what we say, uh, marketing uh, identity for our beautiful North Cyprus tourism market. Mm -hmm. That was one of them actually. for. Uh, western part of the island actually we have solely antiquities yeah. that haven't promoted that much they have started to do something but at the end of the day you know uh, there are beautiful antiquities over there mm -hmm. but uh, nobody uh, doesn't know what's going on in this you know uh, solely uh, what we say ruins over there mm -hmm. so there are plenty of, uh, you know, uh, historical uh, artifacts that have found, you know, in those excavations mm -hmm. actually lately that we've done. Mm -hmm. There is a magnificent, you know, olive, uh, golden, uh, what we say, royal stuff that mm -hmm. uh, were worn by, you know, queens. So nobody knows about it. So yeah. we have decided a crown actually, mm -hmm. we have decided mm -hmm. to promote such type of beauties that will create, let's say, a kind of, you know, uh, niche product.
product on our beautiful North Cyprus tourism market. Yeah, you mentioned that like it is important to discover the areas for international national investors and like culture and history of our island can be such of such areas, right? Absolutely. Uh, and do you think that maybe festivals or concerts can also promote the our island as touristic destination? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, nice question actually, mm -hmm. thank you very much for uh, asking me this question. Uh, definitely, because uh, we are living on a very dynamic tourism uh, potential here in mm -hmm. this part of the island. Mm -hmm. You know, we have casino industry, we have entertainment business, uh, amazing stuff. Actually, upon the uh, recommendations that I was written actually uh, two weeks ago, uh, I was very much surprised that I faced some uh, comments from Greek sites, mm -hmm. from uh, you know, Greek uh, uh, young generations today. Uh, they are preferring to come mm -hmm. and at the weekend, you know, using our beautiful nightclubs, discos for their entertainment activities. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you know, we should see this part of the island, uh, you know, as a dynamic as an energetic dynamism, you know, tourism industry. Mm -hmm. So we have started to receive actually uh, this potential from Greek side as well. In the past, it was just uh, opposite. Our uh, younger generations they prefer they were, uh, they prefer to go and you know uh, have their beautiful entertainment activities in Greek side, mm -hmm. such as Ayanapa, all those stuff. Mm -hmm. But for two years, this is. Believe me, turning just opposite. Mm -hmm. Even Greek, uh, you know, uh, generations as well. At the weekend, especially, they come and spend their beautiful times in our beautiful, you know, magnificent hotels, you know, uh, facilities. And uh, if uh, like such festivals and art events are organized, can the creators of such events hope for the, let's say, financial support from the Ministry mm -hmm. of Tourism and? and uh, uh, environment of uh, absolutely conflict. for instance uh, this year actually uh, in order to as I said from the beginning uh, generate a kind of potential what we say uh, attention on our uh, activities mm -hmm. and the first of uh, April we do have you know a tourism season opening mm -hmm. therefore we are planning to uh, organize to big events, one of them will be held in Famagusta mm -hmm. and the other one will be in uh, Old Town Kairidina. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, all those festivals, all those uh, theatres and stuff will be held in our old uh, Kairidina castle. Mm -hmm. We will be uh, starting our, what we say, activities uh, 10 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock, 3 uh, o'clock in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we need to accept that, yes, we have amazing, you know, uh, peaceful atmosphere. But apart from this, we are very much in the need of, you know, uh, creating alternative tourism trends in this part of the island. So, in my point of view, mm -hmm. we shouldn't only concentrate on elderly tourism. Mm -hmm. We should uh, also concentrate on, as you said, festivals, mm -hmm. uh, all those uh, artistic mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for instance, uh, for more than uh, 18 months actually, we have uh, very much focused on how to open more museums in every different regions of the uh, northern part of that. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, till the end of 2018, we are going to open at least three new museums. So, can you see, uh, as much as you diversify your beautiful uh, tourism product, at the end of the yeah. day, you generate more tourists, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for your tourism mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. This is what we are trying to achieve, mm -hmm. you know. We shouldn't only concentrate on one market. We have to diversify our beautiful tourism product, and believe me, at the end of the day, we, you will see, we will find beautiful end users for mm -hmm. our beautiful mm -hmm. different markets. Mm -hmm. What about one of the latest trends in tourism, uh, uh, such as ecotourism? Yeah. And uh, recently there has been the diplomatic summit held in 
uh, in our beautiful island under the auspices of German American University yeah. and Diplomat and International Organization, as you know. Um, and you were holding a very interesting, engaging panel on sustainable cities during this mm -hmm. event. Yeah. Um, and as far as uh, I remember, it was told that uh, Germany will do everything in order to promote our island as touristic destination and there will be the influx of German tourists to our country. Do you think that ecotourism is a kind of the trend which is really very important for German people and improving ecology of our island will also promote it as touristic destination? I am again, you know, a bit much surprised. Amazing question. <laughs> Thank I would you. like to congratulate you. Thank you. Uh, that means you are following our beautiful uh, tourism market very well. Uh, you know, uh, as you said, when we look our beautiful statistics, actually, uh, I am very much proud of our beautiful team here. Uh, you know, we have beautiful, you know, department heads. We have very much very uh, entrepreneur, you know, mm -hmm. a minister. Our uh, Fikri Ataulu. He is always uh, pulling the trigger by means of, you know, uh, injecting new ideas on our beautiful, you know, what we say, mind what we can uh, shape, mm -hmm. how to shape new operations together. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, we spend a lot actually uh, by means of attracting, let's say, German tourists from Germany. Mm -hmm. Reason being, we might forget uh, English market mm -hmm. a bit, mm -hmm. but uh, German tourists, they like to spend uh, better than English market. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, when we examined the statistics, actually, we found out that in 2017, last year, mm -hmm. our German market uh, increased to uh, 57,000 tourists in a year from 32,000. So it was almost 80%, uh, you know, increased actually. As a matter of fact, today, uh, before coming here, mm -hmm. uh, our minister, uh, we were at the airport. Uh, he went to, I mean, he's on the way now. Uh, he will be joining to uh, Berlin uh, Tourism, uh, ITB Berlin mm -hmm. Fair. Mm -hmm. This is the most biggest international tourism fair in the rest of the world so I'm sure uh, we are again uh, creating beautiful contacts via tour operators, mm -hmm. uh, hotels and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. so at the end of the day uh, we need to underestimate that we are living on a fantastic you know uh, today look at this beautiful weather I mean okay. this is given us uh, by God as a gift you mm -hmm. understand what I mean mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we have to use every aspect of it because mm -hmm. God gave us uh, this and we need to find out the ways how to promote this mm -hmm. you understand what I mean mm -hmm. so uh, let's go back to our statistics if you don't mind mm -hmm. German market is now is booming and we have uh, again a Turkish market as well uh, which is uh, attracting uh, almost 64% of all our uh, tourism uh, tourist uh, volume actually mm -hmm. so we are uh, spending a lot, we are getting prepared uh, well in order to organize different types of, you know, uh, marketing activities mm -hmm. in uh, 10 biggest cities in Turkey. Uh, we are continuing, you know, uh, this operation in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very much believing in German market. We shouldn't forget uh, English market as well. Mm -hmm. We are very hopeful from a Scandinavian market. Mm -hmm. We are very much hopeful as well from uh, Holland, uh, Belgium, Austria market. Mm -hmm. This is what we are aiming, aiming mm -hmm. for. Yeah. Making a reference to the uh, to the phrase which you have just said about the weather of North Cyprus. Uh, the thing which came to my mind is the quote by Mr. Gerhard Prengel, one of the diplomats who also take part in the diplomatic summit. Mm -hmm. And he actually, coming from Germany, he said that Cyprus is ein wunderschönes Land, meaning that it is a wonderful country. And he was amazed by the climate, serenity and peacefulness of our island. Um, and what the president of diplomatic organization told uh, Dr. Günther Meinl, that, that uh, there will be that influx of German tourists 
but our island needs to be very well prepared not only physically but also let's say intellectually to that influx and in terms of the language so what do you think what is like the role of education in building that uh, multi-dimensional trend of North Cyprus? Absolutely you know I was there uh, on that day yeah. and uh, he asked me the same question actually mm -hmm. and uh, I answered him in this way and uh, again I would like to be very thankful to all those people who are very much preferring uh, in order to spend their beautiful times and you know organize such a beautiful summit in this part yeah. of the island. As a matter, he was absolutely right because mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, to be a bilingual is a different gift given by God actually. So uh, in our tourism and hospitality uh, faculties actually. Uh, Apart from English, which is our you know education language, mm -hmm. we are given very much uh, importance on German. We should actually, uh, and uh, Russian as well. Because mm -hmm. the reason being, uh, it was about three weeks ago that uh, I made a survey regarding on how many people Russian uh, people you know uh, are living here, mm -hmm. and I was very much surprised uh, to see that this rate is getting to 12,000 people. So, uh, that means there are people who are spending, who are visiting shops, who are buying uh, groceries, who are buying uh, clothes, who mm -hmm. are buying, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, houses and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they are uh, the part of your beautiful uh, public and they are part of your beautiful living society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, we should invest on those, you know, uh, languages as well. As I said, German and uh, Russian. Uh, I am uh, politely requesting this from all the tourism faculties, uh, you know, uh, deans mm -hmm. to give that, uh, you know, uh, strong, you know, belief or hands on this beautiful, you know, uh, let's say, uh, language education. Mm -hmm. um also speaking about one of your latest articles, uh, the same one which was published in Democratic Bakush newspaper, you tell about Marash Zone in yeah. Cyprus and that it should be considered while the political negotiations are going on. Um, any news in this regard? Thank you. Uh, you know, actually, uh, that was part of our uh, beautiful party mission as well, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Barosha, Marash, is one of the strongest, you know, uh, tool that we have to negotiate this, mm -hmm. you know, for the sake of our future uh, tourism industry. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of this? It means uh, we have about 14,000 beds over there. Mm -hmm. There are uh, 48 uh, tourism and hospitality accommodation ranging from one star to five star. As a matter of fact, forget the bars and all nightclubs and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, by means of accommodation point of view, there are, as I said, uh, nearly 14,500 pets. Mm -hmm. So, we shouldn't forget this beautiful, uh, you know, uh, city that has one of the most beautiful beaches in the Mediterranean region. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I am very much uh, glad to tell you that our uh, President, uh, Mr. Serdar Dengtash, mm -hmm. he also mentioned this in one of our meetings that was uh, held by the, you know, uh, Turkish Cypriot uh, Young Entrepreneurs uh, Association mm -hmm. meeting last week. Uh, he was pointed out that, yes, one of our policy should be giving a new dimension to Varosha. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do it? Mm -hmm. We are very much intensively working on this. We shouldn't leave this place as it is. And this will be a beautiful answer to the rest of the world mm -hmm. that we are here. Mm -hmm. We are very much, you know, uh, taking care of your, let's say, investments, mm -hmm. we are going to call them, but it will be under control of our beautiful Turkish public of Northern Cyprus. 
if they are happy to continue with their investments, I'm sure we are going to find out the ways of how to shape it. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, you are also the Vice Chancellor, of, as we have already mentioned, of Amfort World Association. Yes. Um, as far as I know, the 22nd Forum of uh, Amfort uh, Association will be held in Luxembourg and it will be dealing with education as well. Right. So, um, can we hope for maybe the, pers uh, the certain liaison or uh, the certain support from Amfort Association in regard to Cyprus? Definitely. Actually, that was uh, one of our mission. Actually, uh, you know, uh, in 2019, we might held our uh, yearly uh, summit in our beautiful country, but we need to take this decision in, in Luxembourg. Okay, mm -hmm. because we need to have board decision on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure, uh, this will be the part of our. Uh, getting rid of our isolations mm -hmm. from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we say no, economically and politically, we are isolated from the rest of the world. Believe me, those kind of, you know, uh, international organizations, associations, such as, as you said, uh, Amfort, that was going back to 1969, mm -hmm. which is the oldest, you know, uh, tourism association in the rest of the world. You know? There are very nice people, very strong people in this mm -hmm. association that can create, let's say, a beautiful link or network between our beautiful country and the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this is what we need actually today for the, the uh, international recognition of our beautiful Northern Cyprus. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm sure every step that we are taking by means of, you know, uh, creating an awareness for our beautiful North Cyprus, it will help. Mm -hmm. It helps actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, one of our plans and uh, I would like to tell you that I am planning to go uh, on for uh, yearly uh, you know, summit with our Chancellor, uh, Mr. Uh, Senat Akpınar, because he is also in the operation. He is uh, one of our uh, member, board member. The American University is uh, having beautiful, you know, uh, mission mm -hmm. in this beautiful organization. So, uh, as being the uh, vice president of Amfort, uh, we are also in the need of attracting more uh, Turkish uh, institutions into our beautiful Amfort body. So, how are we going to do it? Of course. As you said, the creation of liaison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is extremely important, you know. Mm -hmm. Not from only northern part of the island. We need to get, uh, you know, different uh, companies or different universities within the umbrella of Amfort. Mm -hmm. This is what we should mm -hmm. uh, aim for. Thank you very much. Uh, we have discussed uh, many interesting dimensions of tourism and environment sector, uh, but uh, I think that uh, Ismet Bey, you are also the person of uh, who is engaged in many activities. And we have mentioned the artistic dimension of tourism, and as far as I know, you are also the musician, and yes, you are also dealing with that artistic dimension in your mm -hmm. life. Uh, may you just tell, uh, here we just move to a more personalized maybe question about the music as secret passion <laughs> in your life? Thank you very much. Actually, uh, I was very much uh, surprised that, you know, we suddenly, you know, uh, saw each other on Instagram yeah. and, you know, uh, I was very much happy yeah. to see your involvement, actually. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, um, I'm having this, uh, you know, that was coming from my family actually, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, character, let's say, uh, and I'm ready to, to have this beautiful gift from my God actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, till the end of summer, w I did uh, finish four new songs actually, which will be on the market, and uh, you will be able to hear this. And uh, the latest one uh, will be a beautiful song regarding on uh, our beautiful Kyrenia uh, blue, uh, 
our name of the song uh, is uh, what a nice thing to see your uh, Kyrenia blue in your eyes you know uh, we wrote this uh, it is a very romantic song mm -hmm. actually and uh, it will be finished uh, in this coming Thursday uh, we are uh, going to mix it and finish it at the studio mm -hmm. and of course my uh, book writing also will be uh, continuing actually uh, as you know three months ago uh, I wrote a beautiful book mm -hmm. regarding on sustainability uh, in North Cyprus tourism uh, I am preparing the second uh, you know part of it and it will be uh, on the market in the summer inshallah what we say but uh, I don't know by means of the priority point of view uh, I have to finish these songs first of all, mm -hmm. then uh, it will be uh, this beautiful time as well. Great, we are looking forward to having, uh, to witnessing these releases. You will, uh, you For will. sure. And uh, thank you very much for having this conversation with us today. Uh, we hope that uh, all our readers um, have that secret passions in their life, that have that uplifting effect and encourage to move forward in whichever professional uh, sector you are engaged in. Thank you very much. Once again, that was Cyprus Observers Program and we had an exceptional guest of our program today, Associate Professor Dr. Ismet Asaniel with us. Thank you very much. I am very happy to see the member of my family in this beautiful, you know, uh, ministry atmosphere. Thank you very much for all the friends, uh, you guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for coming here for spending your beautiful time and thank, thank you. you as thank always you, you know uh, giving me uh, what we say a uh, kind of energy you know <laughs> uh, thank you so much thank you thank you I'm glad to be here as well thank you very much <laughs>